The holiday hustle and bustle has started, which means more traveling. Newsline reporter Amy Hamilton went to the Salt Lake City International Airport to find out how far along the new airport is. Amy, hasn't the airport been under construction for quite a time now? That's right, I'm here at the Salt Lake City International Airport where construction has been underway for the last five years now. Let's go take a look at the status and see when the project is expected to finish. Traveling. It can be stressful, crowded, and all around a tiring process. <laughs> Especially during the holidays. Run, run, Rudolph, run, I'll make you far behind. But the Salt Lake City International Airport is doing everything they can to improve the traveler's experience. It all started with an idea in 2012. And then we started uh, the, the design work, and in July of 2014, uh, we had the groundbreaking to start the construction. The SLC airport is getting a full facelift in order to meet safety regulations. Well, we, we need to keep that up. And to accommodate this fast-growing state. Today it gets pretty congested because we have so many people using the existing airport. Salt Lake City has become one of the major hubs for Delta Airlines with about 70% of total traffic. So the size of the airport just wasn't cutting it. As you can see here, the new airport is almost up and running. The difficulty? Building a new airport while the current one still stands. So we're really like building a new house on top of our existing house. But Mike says the new airport will really benefit flyers. The new airport will have a two-level roadway system. So you see there's an elevated road up there. Plus, the airport features lots of natural light, Utah-inspired design and colors, more concessions and retail. And then great spaces like this, which is our plaza area, where you'll be able to relax and enjoy yourself uh, before you get on your flight. By the next holiday season, you'll be able to enjoy all this luxurious space during your travels. Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah! The airport says the project is expected to finish in September of 2020, so just a little under a year from now, and hopefully this will make traveling easier for all your frequent flyers. Reporting for Newsline in Salt Lake City, I'm Amy Hamilton. Thanks, Amy.